Hey, what up guys? My name is Mailbox and I have another epic ExoZombie storyline video today. I have something really special for you guys uh, because it's something that I have yet to see posted anywhere. Uh, so as far as I know, you're hearing it here first. Uh, if you enjoy today's video, I always encourage you to smack that like button. Uh, it's a great way to spread this information and just to support my channel as well, uh, if you even like me. I mean, hopefully you do. Uh, but anyway, today I have some never before heard ExoZombie storyline quotes that are absolutely essential to the big story. Uh, they're from Carrier. One of my subscribers named Tommy2510 uh, actually searched for these quotes while playing ExoZombies. Uh, he told me that he actually tried this with every single character combination, but once he was playing with Lennox and Lilith, that's when the information really started to pour out. Uh, they start conversating a lot more than the other ones. Uh, she starts prying for information from him, uh, asking him questions about Oz, and he says some things that not only confirm uh, what we already know about the story, but they give us a better look at some of the details uh, of the hidden aspects as well. Uh, so this first one you may have already heard, I posted it before, but it is crucial and we should keep it in mind. <laughs> what do you mean something's changed, Lennox? This goes all the way back to New Bag. Atlas dropped a special DNA bomb on a prison. Oz was there. I know because he used to work for us. So like I said, we've already heard that one before. It was pretty much the first thing that actually confirmed uh, that Oz worked for Sentinel aside from his tattoo. Uh, but Baghdad Prison is where the infection began. Uh, you remember the beginning with the prison riots when Atlas uh, deployed their bioweapon explosives and started the infection. Uh, well, Oz was there working for Sentinel. And if you're wondering what exactly happened to him there, well, this next quote will give us some information. I don't hear any more of them. Lennox, are you saying Oz worked for Sentinel? He was one of our best. After Lonely the bomb mailbox. dropped, we thought he was dead, but then the infected appeared and Oz was spotted walking among them. There we go. Oz was at the prison when the bomb went off. They thought that he died in combat, but when the zombies appeared, he was one of them. Uh, he did not escape safely. Uh, what I'm thinking is that this is when Atlas swooped him up, uh, took him back to their facilities, and that's when they drugged him for the first time. Uh, they brought him back to his human state and completely brainwashed him into thinking that he was an Atlas janitor. Uh, now check out this last quote that gives us even more information about that drug that we've been talking about. I'm tired of your lies, Lennox. Oz is dead. You fucking shot him! Yeah, I did, and he'll regenerate just like he did before. That's why this boat is crawling with infected. Yeah, so Lennox says that he's going to regenerate just like he did before. So this just confirms that our characters are pretty much invincible at this point. Uh, they can get shot in the head, they can be eaten alive, it doesn't matter because the drug that Atlas has provided them allows their bodies to go back to normal. Uh, but somewhere, deep down there, they're actually zombies, and they're always at a zombie percentage. So for example, at this point, Lilith, Khan, and Decker are probably at like 0% zombification. But we see on the map that Oz is actually at about 76% zombification, which explains why he can talk and say Lilith and stuff like that, but he still looks and acts like a zombie. If you ask me, Atlas is completely and totally using our characters for the sole purpose of fighting off the outbreak. Uh, it's no secret that they've been using them, uh, but now we know the reasons why. It's because this outbreak of zombies is a deathly threat to everybody else, but it can't hurt our characters. So why not use them over and over again until they kill off all the zombies? Uh, essentially, Atlas is fighting a war without even getting directly involved whatsoever. Uh, think about it. Every single time we go down, Atlas would just give us the drug once again and we'd be ready to fight. Uh, so for the first time, it actually makes sense that we are able to play over and over again, uh, even when we die. Uh, the intro to infection makes sense too. I would say that our characters are dead right here. Uh, they were overrun, but we originally just thought that they were like passed out uh, or overwhelmed, you know? Um, it now makes sense that they actually died here. Uh, I mean, Lennox specifically says that all of our characters have already died, uh, and right here you see them just load us up, feed us the drugs, and we're good to go once again. Pretty crazy, right? I think so. I think that this storyline is developing perfectly and these newly discovered quotes uh, really help us to understand it even better. Uh, so that's about it for this video, fellas. I want to thank you so, so much for watching. I'm very glad that I got to be the first to bring you these quotes and break them down for you. A uh, quick reminder to click like if you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time. It has been LM. Those who subscribe are the ones who survive.